Hey guys, it's Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. I am so excited today because I am releasing a brand new set of videos on the X Live card, which Behringer released for the X32 and M32 series of consoles. Now, the cool thing is this is gonna work over all of the different models that they have of those series consoles. Now, just make sure you update your firmware to the newest firmware, which is currently 3.08, as well as updating your card firmware of the X card, of the X Live card. Now, what's really neat about this new card is it not only has two SD slots for SD cards up to 32 gigabytes. Now, make sure that those SD cards are class 10 because you want to make sure that those are nice and fast. But the card has those two card slots and as well as having a USB slot for plugging into your computer. Now, the really neat thing is you can use both of those at the same time, which means you could set up your board to be able to record a duplicate on the SD card as well as your laptop, or if you wanted to, you could use something like multi-rack native and use some effects processing on your laptop and just do your main recording on the SD card on the back of the board. Now, let's go ahead and jump in and actually install this thing into the back of the board. Okay, so here's the Behringer X Live card. As we can see, we have a USB 2.0 slot right here, as well as two uh, SD card slots right here. Now, basically the way that this works is if you put a card into both slots, it will write to one card. Once that card is full, it will go to write to the second card uh, right after that. As far as cards go, uh, get a good SD card for this. Uh, don't skimp and buy a cheap one. Um, I would recommend 32 gigabyte class 10 cards. Uh, SanDisk is a uh, good company for these. Uh, there's also uh, a couple different brands out there. Um, I have had really good luck with SanDisk um, over the years. And as we can see, there is also a battery right here, and there's a battery slot right here. This is a, a CR123A battery, and we can insert this, uh, and it goes like that. We can see the plus is right here, and minus is on this side. And once we put this in, if our board, our X32 or M32, loses power um, and we are recording, this battery will ensure that that file gets saved correctly and finishes out, so you won't have any corrupt files if you do end up losing power. So I'm going to go ahead and install this real quick, and then we can go ahead and toss this in the console. Okay, so we have our battery clip here, the battery slot, and a CR123A battery. Now, one thing I do want to show you here is there's a little diode right down here, and that makes it so that this clip can only come off and on the same way, and that is that it has to be released from this side first, and then it will kind of peel off. So we'll go ahead and get this thing off of here. So to do that, we just take this and lift this way, and then we'll pull this off. So you can see that this is like a little U-shaped clip. If we clip this side first, it will end up running into that and not being able to clip all the way. So you will need to clip this side first and then the other side when you are putting the battery. So uh, positive is the smaller terminal and we have our positive sign right here. So just go ahead and simply, simply put in the battery. And then when we are putting this on, make sure that we get the uh, side of the diode first and then we can snap it right in there and there we go. So the battery is installed. So then this is ready to go ahead and install into the back of the board. Okay, so now this red card is ready to go ahead and install in the back of the console. Uh, so to do this, we take a Phillips screwdriver, unscrew these two screws, which are on the uh, right and left hand side of these little knobs. And then we simply just pull this out. And once we take this out, here's the uh, XUSB card. And so what's going to be interesting is looking at this and, and taking a look at the X Live card, how much more of this board is populated uh, with components, which is pretty awesome. So. Here is the X Live card, so significantly more components. Now, when we're putting this in, you can see that there's a little slot right here, and we need to line up this edge of the card with that slot, and there's an, an additional one on this side. So when we're lining this up, uh, just make sure that you get the card going through those two slots. Once they are, you can just go ahead and press back, and then you will feel a little bit of tension right here, which then you will just push in, and that will actually get it locked in there. And then just go ahead and take your screwdriver and screw in these screws, making sure not to strip the screws. And now this does not have to be tight by any means. Snug is totally fine. Then just go ahead and grab your SD card and install it. 
and then take your USB cable and you can plug it in. Now what's really neat about this card is it not only can record to your uh, SD card, but it can also record the same audio down the USB path to your computer. So you can do redundant recording to both devices, or you can use this as your recording device and then end up using this for some effects processing, like using multi-rack native, which is pretty awesome. So once you have this installed, then you can go ahead and turn on your console, and then you will start seeing some lights blinking over here. Um, for instance, if we take the card out and then put it back in once the console is on, then we will see some access lights happening here. So let's go ahead and update our firmware next.